G'day folks, I'm Rex Hunt and thanks for tuning the dial. Sit back and relax. Hey, let's do a bit of fishing together. Fantastic. Wagons. Oh, oh. Thank your mother for the rabbits. Just when they think it's safe to come out. Oh, it's not an animal. Bang. <laughs> I guess in the end that's probably why we all go fishing. Yeah, Tom. I've got something on. Never? Good man, so have I. I've got the bottom. I've felt get the felt like out. a whiting the white bit. A whiting? Wow. Well, it felt like a whiting and a swimming like a whiting. Well, mine's a rubbish fish. Well, it's not actually a rubbish fish, folks. It's I actually. I told you to get a white. Call them a rock cod. And look at yours, it's a whiting. What a magnificent start to a fantastic day. <laughs> I tell you what. I said that right in the top change. You are an absolute legend, aren't you? There's no doubt about that. Hey folks, today we're out at the Sir Joseph Banks group of islands, say midway between Port Lincoln and Tumby Bay, down near the Eyre Peninsula in South Australia. Put him in there, Tommy boy. And this is a local legend. If you ever want to know what a local legend is, Tom Tierney from Tumby Bay is a legend. You not only play for the local footy seconds at 53 years of age, you love it out around here. What's the great attraction to this particular group of islands? Well, I just like fishing mainly, but uh, I come out here mainly to fish for whiting. Yep. It's just a beautiful spot to be. We camp overnight, beautiful sandy beaches. Just an absolutely fantastic place to be. Now, you and your lovely wife, Judy, settled here many, many years ago. Why Tumby Bay? I came here in the bank wrecks. Yep. And uh, I liked the place so much. I was sick of shifting around. <laughs> Had the opportunity to get into the shop and uh, been there ever since. Well, I thought he was going to say like Victor Kayam. He liked the uh, place that much he bought it, but he's the bank manager, so what do you expect? Let's do a bit of fishing. I tell you what, here's our mate Geoffrey. G'day, Jeff. I tell you what, we're going to have a great time here today, folks. Let's let a little bit out and see how we go with that. Should be almost instant because I saw a snook and a sweep and a few Tommies down there. We're getting absolutely, oh, gee, whatever, grab that, cleaned up by all the rubbish here. And this is a fair chance it's either going to be a sweep or a snook. Sit, it's a, oh, it's a lovely snook. Have a look at that, Tommy. Is that a nice fish? Yeah, it's not a bad one. Look at that on light gear. Wow. He came up Tommy's burly trail. Nice and the old onion here. bag's working a treat. Look at this. Wow, what a beautiful fish. <coughs> wow, and he bit me off. So there you are. There's a little bit of a lesson. Tommy and I just doing a little few things different and put on a small sort of white bait sardine, let it drift down naturally and bang. I might put on a heavier trace and see how we go, folks. But it's starting to happen here. We're in a bit of trouble early because the tide just wouldn't get a bit of a gallop up. We've got some fish in the trail and let's do some fishing together. Get yep. Good on you, Tom. Oh, uh, your little one. A little snook? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only a baby. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Are they pretty prolific in this sort of area? Yeah, at, at times. Probably another month's time, they'll be a lot better towards Easter. Though. Yeah. Yeah, that's only pretty small. A lot of them here are like two, three kilo. Are they really? Yeah. And all right on the, uh, on the dinner plate? Um, yeah, I like them smoked. Yeah. Um, but they're not a fish that keeps well, I don't think. Yeah. This flesh is a bit soft, but fresh, they're, they're really nice. Oh, lovely. Yeah, what a nice fish. We don't want him, do we? No, we can give him a kiss and put him back. <laughs> oh, oh look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to take my whiting rig off because we're getting cleaned up there at a million miles an hour by what Tom calls a rock cod. We call them parrotfish. They're all those wrasse species that live around the reef and the weed. Now, we're going to put a bit of a burly trail in, which is starting to work for us. And I'll just put a single 
pilch it over the side like that, just to sort of give him a bit of a taste. I've got a 4 0 hook that I'm going to tie onto this line. The line is around about four kilos, so it's going to be pretty light, and if I get a fish on, he might actually get off. But we'll just tie it in there, on there like that and put the pilchard on, sort of. Well, I'll just go through the tail and bring it down through the head, just like that, and just let it out the back as if it's just going down. Half hitch around the tail, just like that. And there's our bait, and what I might do first up is just throw that one in and then throw the next one in after it and see if it goes off. I've got a feeling something might actually happen here. We'll send him out there with the others. This is a few fish in the trail. Good fun coming to the different areas and fishing with various people who can sort of enhance your fishing ability. It's pretty good stuff. The Tommy Ruffs here are thick as thieves. They'll tell you what, they're thicker than George Foreman's ear when he got belted by Muhammad Ali. I tell you what, these should be very, very good bait because they've come up the Burley Trail and what we've got is other fish coming in behind them. But have a look at that, a dirty great big piece of octopus meant for a snook and the Tommy Ruff, the Tommy Ruff grabbed it. So how about that? I'm going to use him for a bait. So uh, we'll just see how we go with a bit of Tommy Ruff for bait. There's a bit of action here. We're going to do all right. Touch Tommy. Yep. <clears throat> Got down pretty deep. Could be anything. Yeah. Um, rock cut probably. I reckon it's a snapper. Oh, look at that. Snapper. Wow. I do catch snapper at times. That's what do you? Originally, originally started fishing here. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Interesting tie-up with the uh, dual hook rig. Is that a favourite of yours? Yeah, I use it just for snapper and snook. Yeah. Very the size of the hook. Yeah. So you get two chances and also prevents you from being bitten off. Well, in this particular spot, some of these white holes. Yeah. Um, I had whole pilchers on the double ganged hooks like that. Yeah. I snoozed, and uh, I've caught. Really big whiting, you know, like over a kilo. Wow. He's big enough in Victoria, this one. But... Oh, mate. He's on the front page of their old son. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Got a bit of fight doing, Tom. Yeah. I think it's a snapper. Another snapper. He's legal, this one. Oh, isn't, isn't that it? amazing? Well, yeah, he'd be about legal. I'll throw him back anyway. We got enough snapper. He'd be pretty close to legal. Come on, little fella. Pretty fish. Back he goes. Catch him, he's annoying me. Time to sort of snap him, I think. Time to sort of snap A oh, Victorian yeah. snapper. <laughs> well, we'd be quite happy any of these ones you want to sort of let go through uh, through the net and get them out the other side of uh, get them out the other side of uh, the border there, mate. I can tell you now. Well, well, are they going to be over there? Well, they're going to be 27. Yeah, and these things, easy. Tommy Ruffs, we very rarely see them. And there you are. That one there would be... Let's see if he makes a Victorian size. Oh, easy, mate. Like he's... Uh, 34. 34, and he's four centimetres under the South Australian mm. limit. Well, there you are, folks. We've had a lovely session with Tumby Tom. And if you see a boat heading around the main area near the pier with Tumby Tom written on it, it's going to be you, Tom. And of course, from an ex-bank manager to the manager with your wife of the food town, it's good to see you got your priorities right that you go fishing. Yeah, well, she lets me out now and again. And when you're not fishing, <laughs> you're playing on the half-back flank for Tumby Seconds. Back pocket. Back pocket, <laughs> eh? Next step, over the fence. But I tell you what, at the wrong side of 50, he's still getting a kick in the local competition. It's been great to see you, Tom. You're a legend. And I tell you what, folks, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have because we've been fishing with a real legend here out of Tumby Bay in South Australia. Yeah.